Hey guys, going to Trey, except I came about Junior Cross video. Okay, so in today's video, I'm gonna give you guys some tips on how to beat Ava. So, yeah, I'll show you guys my setup. Um, so the four tower fight is actually really difficult. Um, so this is my setup right here. I have a plus 38, or level 38 Sleeping Lion. You don't really need a level 38 Sleeping Lion. I beat this at level 35. Um, the reason why it's 38 is because I needed it for Envy, so I'll make a video on that one after this video, but uh, yeah, I made my Sleeping Lion um, to level 38 because of her. Um, it was really difficult, so <laughs> I needed all the power and uh, multiply I can get, so that's why I level 38, but you don't need a 38 Keyblade for Alva, you just need like a 35. Um, also, my sub slots are at 5.0, so it's relatively high. You, you want to have high sub slots, um, basically as much as you can get, <laughs> really. Um, so yeah, definitely press the optimize button to get the best uh, sub slot possible. But uh, you need high sub slots. You need a decent keyblade uh, level plus 35, definitely the best um, for Alva anyway. So yeah, anyways, I have um, Kyrie right here. She has second chance 4, and she has extra attack. Extra attack did definitely help me during this event, so yeah, um, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, do you, you don't really need extra attack, but it'd be great to have. Um, you can copy Kyrie with another metal or something like that, but yeah, um, definitely extra attack definitely helped a lot. I have my Sora Riku. He is a damage dealer. He got attack was 9 max, um, and he's perfect. Um, so yeah. <laughs> then my Axel right here. Axel right here is not really gonna do damage, he's just gonna copy my uh, ultimate inform Sora. He attack with 7 max gauge 2. Um, aerial, extra attack, ground. He does do a little bit of damage, but he's not really my main damage dealer, so it doesn't really matter. Um, then I have Sora right here, ultimate inform Sora. He is the key to the setup. <laughs> like, basically all my uh, past videos on how they tip into tips and tricks videos, so he's definitely key. So he has attack boost 10, max gauge 2, he has perfect traits. Um, so yeah, this setup basically where you want to have Ava kill you and then keep your buffs. Uh, that's basically the same thing <laughs> um, as my previous video, but uh, yeah, so he's there, do a lot of damage. Same with the Terra Ventus Aqua, he'll do a lot of damage as well. Attack boost 9, max gauge 1, perfect traits. Um, and my uh, Guardian from Sora, attack was 10 max to 0, and per well, almost up the traits. <laughs> it's just missing the plus 2000, but yeah, it's good enough. So that's basically my setup right here. Um, what you want to bring is metal to have ground, and uh, if you have ultimate form Sora, definitely that's gonna help you a lot, for, especially for this uh, you know, setup I'm doing. Um, and you're gonna bring a strong, like your strongest uh, speed setup. Of speed metals. Um, so yeah, I brought basically my uh, best speed metals here. <laughs> they do a lot of damage, but uh, basically you need ground, you need buffer like Kyrie, and definitely a metal to copy the ultimate form Sora, because uh, this is the key to the setup. And you want to have high sub slots, and you want to have a good uh, keyblade level. Plus 35 for Ava is great. Uh, and it, for like Indy and stuff like that, you might want to have a little bit higher level, or if you guys have more. Uh, better sub slots than I do, then you guys only need to have a keyboard that's that high of a level, but yeah, anyways, uh, that's basically my setup right here, so I'll show you guys how I beat her. Ava is basically the easiest foreteller out of all of them, so <laughs> yeah, for those of you in the, uh, what's called, Volpe's Union, <laughs> well, you guys missed out on Ava, but um, you fight everybody else. <laughs> so, this I'm in the Unicornus uh, Union, I don't get to fight Ira. So, um, that kind of sucks. <laughs> I, well, I kind of wish that they made them all available, even though you're in different unions. Like, uh, even though you're in the same union as, you know, one of the foretellers. Like, I really, like, I really want to fight uh, Ira, even though I can't beat him. But, uh, I would love to fight him, instead of having to change unions. <laughs> um, I'm thinking about making another account, that way, um, I can do the Ira fight, so I'll see about that. But, uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to fight Ava. So if you beat Ava, you get a special title. You also get a sun gem and a sun gem. You stupid. A sun gem and a moon gem. Okay. Um. So yeah. So she's level five thousand. 
I'll explain uh, what she does in the fight, so... Yeah, anyways, I brought in my friend uh, Sephiroth, because Hava reflects uh, reverse metal, so I need a reverse metal to kill me, that way I can keep my buffs. So, as attack with 7 max, um, almost every trait's uh, missing the plus 2000, but it's pretty decent. So, I'm gonna bring that one. You guys wanna bring a reverse metal, it doesn't have to be the Sephiroth, it could be anything. But uh, definitely a reverse metal is gonna help you. Uh, it's key to, well, it's key to the setup basically. <laughs> so let's watch cutscene. It's you. I've been looking for you. That's other way here. Uh, I thought you'd be gotten in key the way. So this is the same cutscene as King Much Chi. Um, so yeah. Okay, I want to twice. There we go, okay. Hopefully not an auto. Okay, good. <laughs> not an auto. Okay, so uh, what Alva does, I have it on the side. Um, huge thanks to uh, Robloid and as well as, I'm trying to remember his name. <laughs> um, I'm looking right here, uh, Ryu Gessen. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but those two, uh, they have a little bit of a table right here that shows uh, basically all what like, what the foretellers do. So, Alva right here, um, she... It reflects reverse. Um, she also she doesn't really counter, but she does absorb magic and she heals when you attack with a magic metal, so you don't use any magic metals at all. Um, and after that, she leaves at six thousand six hundred stupid uh, HP bars. So each foreteller, you don't have to bring them all the way down. They have a certain like threshold that you have to meet before you beat the fight. So with Ava, you just gotta bring her down to uh, six thousand six hundred stupid. No, six thousand sixty. Stupid! <laughs> oh my god. Uh, 6,000. Stupid! No, 66,000. Oh my god. 66,000 uh, HP bars. Stupid! Wait, 6,600,000 HP bars. I, I know I'm tripping right now. <laughs> but uh, basically, um, that's why you have to bring her down to, and after that, you beat the, uh, her fight. So, yeah, anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I did. So, since Alba reflects uh, reverse. Uh, having that reverse metal at your friend metal is definitely gonna help you a lot. So, well, first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the Kyrie to get rid of Alpha's uh, buffs. He has plus 15 defense, plus uh, 15 upright and reverse defense. So, I'm gonna use the Kyrie to get rid of that. Then I'm gonna use um, my Ultimate Force Sword to get that uh, guilt bonus up, uh, plus like 280, I believe. So, I'll do that. And also, now I'm going to use the Kyrie to buff me, and buff me again. Uh, this I can probably just keep on auto, to be honest with you. <laughs> I I don't really, you know, use... Um, well, actually, yeah, the, the first round, I won't, I won't do auto, but I didn't really use any of the Supernova, so... Yeah, so right there, I'm getting some more uh, upright uh, strength up. So right here, I have about 6,000 upright strength. That definitely helped me, like everything else. Oh, this entire setup really is basically upright metal, so each metal gets plus 6,000 strength, so yeah. And now I'm gonna use that, that, just to keep attacking her. And then we'll put some Sora. Okay, and right here, this metal is gonna kill me, um, so I'm gonna use that. Boom, okay. So then right here, Ava kills me, it reflects the damage back. And now, um, I'm gonna heal myself up first. Right there you see, a plus 6,000, <laughs> that's because my buffs, uh, you know, were kept, because uh, I killed myself basically, so, basically that's what the whole setup is about, you wanna keep killing yourself at the end until you get, like, you've seen your buffs, like, you know, keep growing, growing until you get really strong, <laughs> so right now I have a 6,000, uh, strength, so, as you guys will see, my metals do a lot more damage now, so, now it does 2.2 billion, there's uh, 9 million, or 900 million. Then I set Brock, not a Brock. My uh, Lee's gonna start doing some damage. Um, so yeah, that's gonna go on auto. So, <laughs> basically the entire fight really. Uh, just keep building your strength. Now I'm at 12,000 now. Um, do that, and then kill myself with Sephiroth. Boom. Okay, reflex. And then boom, back here. I have plus 12,000 now. It's just basically. Uh, whoops. <laughs> and I don't really have to use any supernova. Um, so I just kept it on auto. <laughs> but, uh, okay. 
Total. Oh no. Okay. Three thirty C. Uh, it stopped at six thousand. Uh, Stupid. Six hundred sixty. Stupid. Six hundred sixty six. I'm tripping. It was like 662,000. That's basically her threshold. That's uh, what you need to meet in order to beat her event. So, yeah, this video is basically <laughs> me like tripping over the amount of uh, HP bar she has. Oh man. Um, why? <laughs> uh, something time for you to know. So, yeah, this is all the same uh, as the Kidmunch Chi. Listen to me, must join the dandelions and go far, far away from here. <laughs> My guy looks so stupid in this event, <laughs> in this uh, cutscene, because of the uh, glasses. Uh, Master Ava. And then I crawl, crawl up into a ball. Yeah. <laughs> I love how my cape is just like, still. So, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, and after that, uh, Skull and Ephemera is gonna come. Or cheer to the papa first, and then they're gonna come. I wonder how heavy charity is. <laughs> it's gonna be like ten, like five pounds or something. Either great, you can rest now, okay? Oh, yeah, also your uh, your character is crying in this cutscene, but since I'm wearing glasses, you probably can't even tell. <laughs> but yeah, um, go with the mysterious light for some reason, and then skull. Okay, and then Ephemeres will come soon. Let's go. Okay. Hi, Wesley. Okay. Um, and Ephemeres comes out of nowhere. <laughs> like, he didn't even, like, appear. <laughs> he just, like, walks up. Broke your promise. Yeah, so basically my guy is crying, but you can't see anything because of the glasses. <laughs> so, yeah. Sorry about that. You're late. Too late. I know, but I'm here now. Look at his little stubby arms. <laughs> Let's go. And basically, we uh, traveled the dandelions um, to the new world. Um, but not really a new world, really. <laughs> um, but yeah, and we lose the memory and all this stuff, and then that basically how Union Cross happens, all that good stuff. Um, so basically, that's basically it for this uh, video. Um, my setup is not really that crazy. Basically, want to keep uh, using Ultimate Form Sora and carry over your buffs to the, you know, over time you have a lot of buffs, um, high strength anyway, and then after that you'll be able to kill it. Um, definitely, you want to bring a, a reverse metal. You need buffer uh, with second chance. You need Ultimate Form Sora. Uh, we don't need Ultimate Form Sora, but for this setup, you need Ultimate Form Sora because this is basically the cheese setup. You don't need it. You can probably beat it with some like legit <laughs> like setup. Um, this is like some of the cheesing setup. Um, so yeah, you want to bring Ultimate Sora. You want to metal to copy that to get as much uh, upward strength as possible. Um, and just basically kill yourself with the Sephiroth or any reverse metal, and just carry over your buffs. So <laughs> happy about for this fight. Um, the easiest fight out of all of them, to be honest with you. Um, so I'll mention what, her, what she does again. She does, uh, she does reflect uh, reverse metals. She absorbs magic metals and heals herself. Um, and she also has a threshold. You have to bring her down to 662,000 um, HP bars in order to uh, beat her fight. So you don't have to kill her. So that's great. <laughs> At first, I thought when I was fighting, I said like. I have to bring him down 8 million, not 8 million, like 9 million HP bars, but you don't have to. Um, I said you have to bring him down to like 1.66 million, or 1.6 something million. Um, so yeah, the closest I brought him down to was 1.8 million, so I'm really close to beating a said. Uh, I'll do a video on that once I can beat him, but I just need combo ones to work with me, <laughs> and then I should be able to beat it, so yeah, next video is going to be on Envy. Um, and then after that, uh, I'll probably do Gula if I can beat him. I don't think so. <laughs> I uh, power medals are absolute trash, so I don't think I'll beat Gula anytime soon. But I think I should be able to said eventually. <laughs> uh, and Envy already beat. So yeah. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys video. Hopefully this video helped you guys um, think of some setups you guys can do. If you guys have ultimate form Sora, definitely help you a lot. You guys want to have high sub slots and decent Keyblade metal, a uh, Keyblade level. Um, 
and all that good stuff. So, yeah. Anyways, hope you guys can be. Uh, hopefully, this video help. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, this video help you guys, and hope you guys and uh, beat this event. And if you guys can, um, you guys don't really need to rush it because this event is here forever. <laughs> Until they say it goes away, it's event is here forever. So, yeah. Um, <clears throat> there's no need to rush. Um, they're gonna de definitely gonna bring out some good metal to help you with this event. So. Yeah, uh, you, you, there's no need to rush at all. Like, I can't even beat Gula, and I'm, I don't really care. <laughs> I'll eventually be able to beat him um, by pulling for the newer medals to come out, the newer tier 10s, stuff like that. So, yeah, I don't really care too much. So, yeah, and there's no jewels in this event either, so, yeah, uh, definitely no need to rush. Um, the gems are there. I, I believe you got, like, what, 3 or 5 or something? Nothing too crazy, so, <laughs> yeah, it's it not even that... Uh, important right now uh, it's just uh, for those who have a for the end game people really um, and the whales and whatnot <laughs> um, so yeah anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed this video hopefully you guys uh, got something out of it but uh, yeah hopefully you guys have good luck beating this event and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later <laughs>